hey guys back with another video for my addictive blogging channel and i have the samsung galaxy watch 4 and in this video we will discuss how we can connect this watch to the strava app which is one of the most popular apps you can get for fitness and how we can sync the data across all of the devices in the strava app so not only you can sync the data from the samsung galaxy watch 4 to the strava app you can also start workout directly from the watch in the strava app and also there are a lot of workouts which you can start so we will see all the features of the strava app and how we can sync the data to this app via the samsung galaxy watch 4 so as always this video will be a sick video guys and if you are taking to say don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this so first of all the samsung galaxy watch 4 comes with a lot of features and now you can install the strava app directly on this watch so as this watch comes with a inbuilt play store you can search for the strava app in the play store and this is available for the wear os so if i search for strava you can see that the app is ready to be installed and i have already installed this app on the watch so make sure you have installed the strava app first on the watch and also in the same time you have to install this on your phone so both the places you have to install the strava app so that it can work and sync the data across devices so once i open the strava app you will see that there are a lot of features in this app so first of all it will show you a list of workouts which you can perform at any time so there are a lot of workouts like the workout modes so the basic workouts are run walk ride and if you scroll down there are something like trail run e-mountain biking gravel ride mountain bike indoor ride so all type of workouts are there and also at the same time you can configure the workouts and how they will perform so if we go to settings you will see that we can change the units there are something like audio cues so audio cues are nothing but audio instructions you will be getting from the watch whenever you will be starting a workout or stopping a workout or the workout will be paused so this is a really really important feature which they have added in this watch so you can obviously increase and decrease the volume of the audio cues here and also there is auto pause feature although the auto pause feature is only limited for two of the workout modes which are run and ride so this is very very important and you have to log into the strava app with the same credential which you will be logging in into your phone that is also very very important so that the data will be synced properly from the watch to the app so first of all if we select any of the workout and if we start the workout you will see that it will first detect the location of yours with the gps of the watch so it is locating the location and it has got the location on the watch with the gps and if i click on start it will start the workout instantly so you can listen to the audio cues also so the workout has been started and here it will display the heart rate so here you can see it is displaying the heart rate and obviously the heart rate will be continuous while the workout will be going on and here it will show you the pace actually this is the pace at which you will be working and also here the distance will be shown on the workout screen so once you will be going through the workout you have the option to pause the workout at any point of time obviously if you have selected the run or ride workout it comes with an auto pause feature so there you don't need to click on pause manually but if you have selected any of the other workout modes you have to pause manually and when you and when you pause the workout you will get the option of ending the workout and resuming the workout or deleting the workout and here in the settings you will be getting all the settings up there so this is the workout screen of the strava app and continuously it will detect your heart rate all the time so once the workout has been finished you have to click on here and all the workout related data will be displayed on the watch itself and the best part is the data will be instantly synced with your phone so you don't need to sync it manually so if i come to my phone and go to the strava app you will see the data will be automatically synced and each of the workout which i have done has been synced also so here you can see the data right now has been synced which i have started so i have not taken a walk so it is showing like this so at night i have done a workout and you can see the workout has been synced in here 
so what are the information it displays let's see so first of all it will display you the map route and anyone can save the map route in the Strava app and at the same time this is a social media platform so anyone can like your workout or comment on your workout or share it to other social media platforms also on the other hand you will be getting a lot of information related to your workout so if i click on view analysis you will see that i will be getting the information relating to the elevation so elevation gain was 5 meter and max elevation was 12 meter at the same time i am getting the information related to my pace in this graph based manner and the average pace was 13.44 per kilometer moving time average elapsed pace elapsed time first split all type of information i am getting and also i will be getting the information related to my heart rate so this is very very useful information which you will be getting at a glance like the distance you have traveled elevation game moving time and the calories burned so it will also show you from where it is synced so it is showing the samsung galaxy watch for here so this is how you can sync all the data from your watch to the strava app on your phone and the watch also supports the tile of strava so if you want to add the style of strava you have to click and hold and here at the end you will get the option of add tiles and here you will get the tile which i have already added in here so you are seeing that if i just scroll right you will get the strava tile on your watch so from the strava tile you can start workouts and do some of the basic stuff and get the information related to your workout directly on the watch so this is what this strava app is all about and you can sync the data entirely from the samsung galaxy watch 4 to the strava app on your phone so that's it guys i hope you have liked this video if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this thank you guys have a great day thank you